If you've seen my reviews before, you know how much I love portable media players. This is from Makita. It comes with 16 gigs of internal memory, plus supports up to 128 gig on a micro SD card. One of my frequent complaints about portable media players are the lack of physical buttons. And this addresses that kind of. This is not a touchscreen. However, there is a touch sensitive panel on the bottom here with dedicated positions for buttons. Play, pause, track, forward, reverse, volume up and down, and some menu buttons. The only genuinely physical buttons are these two on the side. This one kind of wakes up the device and this one starts the recorder, the voice recorder. Oh, how, however, there is an on off switch on the bottom next to this micro USB plug. Why are we still using micro USB in 2023? I don't know. I hate it, but that's what they have. Here is the menu. As you can see, it will play music, play a uh, video. It has a dictionary. And as far as I can tell, it's a foreign language dictionary. I don't know what language it's translating to. I don't even want to guess. There is a record button, which you can record your voice. It will also record FM radio in a, in a different function of the screen. There is a text. I don't know what text does actually. I, I think it's an e-reader. When I went to that function, it just says there's nothing to load. There's a file explorer. There is a tool menu, and on the tool menu is a calendar, a stopwatch, uh, an alarm. You can view pictures, and that's where you'll find the FM radio function. I wanted to highlight the settings. If you go in here and choose the sound settings, well, and as long as we're here, can I just say, do not put yellow text on a gray background and expect anybody to be able to read it. Now, it doesn't look so bad on the screen here, on the on the iPad screen, but if you're just looking at it in person, if you have any sort of ambient light in the room, you I have to navigate away from the setting to see what my selection is. Anyway, I'll choose that, and we have an equalizer. Fantastic. I love that. And not only that, but it's got the usual presets and the ability to set your own. It's a five band equalizer. So I go to select that. What happened? This is not how I selected. <laughs> I did not shape the equalizer to look like this garbage. What is that? The, the mid range negative infinity. And we are highlighting the uh, base and, and whatever, whatever's next to ba between base and mid range. <laughs> Low, I guess. I did not do this, um, but that's every time I come back in here, it reverts to this nightmare. So we'll get out of there. There is a volume limiter. I guess that's nice if you're handing this to a kid and okay. you can, uh, you can, there's a, whenever you select one of the buttons, you can have it be silent or make a noise. And what, what else do we have here? Uh, oh, you have the ability to uh, change the... Uh, okay, that's the other thing. Uh, let me finish that thought. You can make this so that the screen doesn't time out, which you will want to do, because if you don't, as soon as it times out, none of these buttons work anymore. You have to click this button to wake the device up. It has to go through its little cycle, and then you can advance to the next track or whatever. Secondly, look what happens when I press down. It's volume down. If you want to scroll down, you don't press down, you press right. Is that crazy? Well, I guess I was pressing left, but you, you get the idea. Right goes down and left goes up. Sometimes, but not consistently. Look, if you go to, to this screen, it operates as you would expect. So that 
you're pressing up and it actually goes up. So it's just, it's, it's inconsistent. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the, the directional buttons do one thing and sometimes they do other things. And that's, that's just, that's bad design. The FM radio works fairly well. I, I, I guess I don't have too many complaints about that. Um, I, I, this is super lightweight and probably too lightweight. It's got an aluminum housing, I think. Um, however, the battery only lasts for like four or five hours. That's not enough. I'd rather this be heavier and, and have a, a battery, an all day battery. There's no reason why something like this can't last all day. I did watch video on this and it does work. It comes with the conversion utility to, I, I assume, bring it down to the resolution that fits onto the screen. When you watch it, you're watching it in landscape mode and that's fine. Um, it's, it's small, but it's viewable. Same goes for the picture viewer. Uh, there, there's only so much you can do with a tiny screen like this. Another thing. When you're playing music, it will display what appears to be a spectrum analyzer. This, these bouncing bars. However, as far as I can tell, those are just randomly generated. I, don't, I couldn't detect any relation to what's being played with what's being displayed. So, I guess, <laughs> not, it's not what I was looking for. What do I like about this thing? small it's lightweight i like the aluminum housing it has physical buttons the fm radio works fine um that might be about it what do i not like about this the battery life is awful if the screen shuts off the buttons stop working the spectrum analyzer is a lie and the menuing system is beyond comprehension and unreadable at times. It does work, but I can't give this more than three stars. I just, at, at any price, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, no. Not good enough.